Hello, so in this video I'm going to be talking about things I think every social worker should know as we come into 2023. Uh, so Happy New Year to everyone and these are just some bullet points of the key issues um, but I will be elaborating on these in future videos and they may just help people go who are going for interviews or students or generally just trying to keep up to date with what's going on. Um, so the importance of cultural competency and diversity has always been a massive issue been brought to light uh, with Social Work England, we were required to sign a diversity statement and we need to be aware of how our own biases impact our work. And the second thing to bring to your attention is about trauma-informed practice. Um, so this is a big issue in social work to be aware of and if you can get any training on this I would say be worthwhile. Um, so trauma is an emotional and psychological uh, response to deeply distressing or disturbing experiences and it can have a wide range of impacts on physical, emotional and psychological well-being. And if we have an understanding of this uh, through the life, it can, it can help us in our practice to be empathetic and also notice what's going on for people. The third thing is about the role of technology in social work. So it was thrust upon us to be more engaged with technology when we were working through the pandemic. There are benefits and burdens to technology in social work. There's also issues that are wider um, with technology. I, I've been involved with um, safeguarding cases which have involved people being exploited online. There's things to be aware of around cyberbullying, people not feeling part of society if they've not got the access to technology, which means that um, they're not part of things or they can't get the same education as other people. So that kind of feeds into the fourth point, which is about the impact of social and economic inequality as well. Um, we're going through a cost of living crisis, which is really impacting everyone. And it's thinking about what we can tap into to help people manage that situation, how that's impacting social work at the moment. The importance of self-care is always key and quite often in interviews you get a question on this because it's acknowledged that the people we're supporting are often going through crisis or stress and supporting people through that, especially when you're seeing lots of people who are experiencing trauma can actually um, impact you as a worker and the pressures of social work day to day can be intense so thinking about um, what people do for their own self-care as professionals and how that will help us um, more successfully help the people we're involved with supporting. Intersectionality is the sixth point. The concept technologies, people's identities and experiences are shaped by multiple factors for example, race, gender, sexual orientation and class. The intersections between these impact their access to resources and opportunities. And we can feed that and uh, link that really to anti-oppressive practice and that people can experience discrimination um, from multiple perspectives. So they may be discriminated against for more than one reason. So um, someone who's from an ethnic minority may also be female and then be doubly oppressed on the basis of that. And I will elaborate that on that further in another video. But that also links to social justice, which is my seventh point. Um, social work has a long history of advocating for people and advocating for human rights and social justice and addresses issues of inequality. Um, so this is a really important thing to always think about when we're in practice and also um, giving examples of how you've promoted this if you are going for an interview because you may be asked a question on that sort of thing.